Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Um, check the description for all my information or you can go to my uh, channel and I have all the hack rank and lead code solutions for all the problems. So go check that out. Um, this one's called add two numbers. So if you're given two non-empty linked lists and each linked list represents a non-negative integer. Um, the digits are stored in reverse order. So each of their nodes contains a single digit of that number. So we're given reference to two heads of two separate lists, right? And each node is a number. Um, add the two numbers and return it as a new linked list. So we're going to have a new linked list with the addition of all of these, right? So if we were going to do this in, the, in reverse order, so it's not 243 plus 564, it's 342 plus 465. And that makes it easier for us because if we were to do... 243 plus 564. If we were going to add these numbers, we would do 4 plus 3, right? And we would get 7. And then if we wanted 4 plus 6, we'd get a 0. And if we wanted 2 plus 5, well, we'd, we'd get 10, but we'd have to carry 1 over to this operation, right? 4 plus 6 is 10. We'd carry 1. So now we get 1 plus 2 plus 5, and then we get 8, right? And that's how we get our answer. So all we really have to do is traverse these lists at the same time. And if one number is less digits than the other, we just pretend there's a zero in that place value. And we traverse these at the same amount, of, the same, val same value at each time, and we end the loops at the same time. And we just do 2 plus 5 is 7, 4 plus 6 is 10, carry 1 over, and we do the same thing. So that's it. And then we add them as new nodes to our new linked list. So we're going to do list node dummy head is equal to new list node from zero. Um, and then we're going to have list node L3 for our new linked list. It's going to be equal to dummy head. And then we're going to do a loop while L1 is not equal to null or L2 is not equal to null. And then, yeah, we do this because we have to do the same place value at each time, right? Last place value, second last place value, first place value, every single time. Um, and if one number has more digits than the other, so if it was five, six, four, three, and this one didn't have four digits, this one had four digits, this has three, we would just set the value of that. We, we have a fake value for it, and it's just going to be zero because it's all addition, so we just would add zero to it. So we're going to do that with ternary conditions. So we do L1val is equal to, if L1val um, is not equal to null, then we're going to use L1.val. Otherwise, we're going to use zero, right? So as we loop through, these are the variables that we're going to add together. We're, we extract the value through ternary condition right here. And we just have to make sure that the place value is not equal to null. If it's equal to null, then the value is going to be zero, obviously. Otherwise, we'll actually use the value. So then we just calculate the current sum is equal to L1val plus L2val plus carry. So we need to make sure we add the carry to the sum when we add these, right? Because if we were adding 4 plus 3, we would get 7, but we need that carry over from the 4 plus 6 earlier, that 1, right? So we're going to declare current sum, uh, carry up here. It's just going to be 0 for the first loop, and then it'll be um, set right here. So carry is always going to be current sum divided by 10, and we'll also need the last digit. It's always going to be current sum mod 10. And um, this just extracts the last digit, because if we, 4 plus 6 is 10, so 1 will be the carry, because 10 divided by 10 is 1, and 10 modulus 10 is going to be 0, because 10 goes into 10 perfectly. So um, we set, have our new list node, it's going to be called new node, list node of last digit, and then this is all we have to do, l3.next is equal to new node. And then that's pretty much it. All we have to do now is if l1 is not equal to null, we traverse that list. l1 equals l1.next. Same thing for l2. And l3 doesn't have to have a null check. Just l1 and l2 because we are doing we have this or up here. Um, and then l3 equals l3.next. And then obviously there could be a carry left over at the end, so we just want to make sure, right, if there was, um, you know, two nines, if we added 900 and 900, we would get 1800, obviously, so we have to create a new place value. So if the leftover carry, meaning this one, is greater than zero, 
then we just have another new list node is going to be equal to new list node of carry. And that's going to usually be one. Uh, I think it'll always be one. Um, so L3.next is equal to new node because the highest digits are nine that you can add. L3 equals L3.next. Um, and that's pretty much it. And then we just had that dummy head up there so we can return a reference to the head of our new list. So we just return dummy head dot next. And that should work. <sighs> there we go, perfect. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, I guess I could explain it again. This video is getting pretty long, but we're given these two lists. Each node represents a digit of the number. They're in reverse order. So we do a regu it just makes it perfect for us to do regular arithmetic addition. So we add one digit at a time with this sum value. We make sure that the digits aren't null. If they're null, we set the value to zero. Um, we add one digit at a time. We calculate the carry. We calculate the actual value we want our new digit to be in the addition. And then we set it in our new list. Then we return a reference to our new list. That's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have a better solution. And thanks for watching. Check out the other videos. And see you next time.